If you would, let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Brother Terry, come on, lead us a word of prayer. Amen. Praise God. I'd like to read a little text for you, if you would, in the 16th chapter of the book of Mark, chapter 15. Uh, this is Jesus himself is speaking, Praise and he Lord. said, Praise Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. Uh, uh, my friend, but I want you to know Jesus was talking about a born-again experience before you ever come to the water hole. If you don't have a born-again experience and already have Jesus in your heart, um, you just go into this water, a dry center, you come out a wet one. Uh, but let me tell you, when you come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, there'll be a natural attraction for this water. I didn't mention one word to Sister Sue when I did it this summer. They come to me and said, I want to be baptized. And uh, my friend Jesus in Himself was baptized. He come out of Galilee and come to Jordan. Well, John the Baptist was baptizing, and he said, I, John the Baptist seen him. He said, Me baptize you. Said I have need you baptizing me. And Jesus said, Suffer to be so, because it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. And uh, my friend, when you come to that altar and you've had a born again experience, uh, they won't nobody have to tell you you need to be baptized, honey, because you'll want to do all you know to do to please the Lord Jesus Christ. And there'll be a natural attraction for this water. Thank God. But I'm glad. Thank God before you're even baptized you're already baptized in the spirit of God that's a Greek word meaning baptizo means submerged into uh, you was already submerged into the Lord Jesus Christ before you come to this water hole because there's no cleansing power at all in this water hole it just shows good conscience between you and God and it symbolizes the death the burial and the resurrection uh, uh, my friend honey God is not the God of the dead but he is the God of the living honey but the word of God says it's once appointed to every man to die after this judgment as sure boys as we go into that old cemetery and they shovel the dirt on our face and in a casket over our steel vault uh, one of these days we're going to come out of that ground thank God because <coughs> we've been submerged into the spirit of God and God is not the God of the dead but he is the God of the living and he's not willing that no man should perish but that all men should come to repent he said if I be lifted up I'll draw all men to me yeah. and boy people are still getting saved people are still being born of the water and of the spirit of God uh, my friend if you don't know this man called Jesus. Uh, let me urge you one thing, honey. I have to go into some church where they still believe in a born-again experience. Um, and when God knocks upon your heart's door, I uh, to say yes to the Holy Spirit of God. It will be the best decision that you've ever made. Uh, for he said there's one that will stick with you closer than a brother. And that man is Christ Jesus. Uh, he said, I'll never leave you. Uh, I'll never forsake you. But, lo, I'll go with you always, uh, even to the end. Uh, it is good tonight. Thank God, honey, if you've got Jesus Christ in your life. Uh, you can lay your head on that pillow and say, Lord, if I wake up in the morning, it's all right. And if not, I've got a better place to go to. For he said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I'd have told you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and I'll receive you in my own. Thank God that where I am, there ye may be also. And my friend, if you don't know Jesus, he said, I'm seeking to save that which was lost. And he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to me. And I'm glad, thank God, he's a still a draw of men and women. He drawed her just a few, about a month ago. He drawed her about a month ago. And now, boys, they want to be baptized. And he said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. He that believeth that is baptized shall be saved. And he that believeth not shall be damned. Now, let me urge you, if you don't know this man called Jesus, find you a good church. Honey, find you a good church. It's still got an altar. And yeah. when Jesus speaks to your heart, say yes to the Holy Spirit of God. It will be the best decision you've ever made. Uh, several years ago, I was baptizing on the banks of, of, Kenny, of down in Harrison, Kentucky, and I thought it was all been up, and it was silk all over thing. I, I gave an altar call, and there's a woman come and give her heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we went right on out in the water and baptized her. About 20 years ago, she went back to Texas, and I found out she was still serving the Lord. Uh, it's Praise the same the God in Kentucky. It's the same God in Texas. It's the same God in Ohio. Honey, he's God everywhere. And my friend, let me tell you, he loves you today with a great love. Love, and he's not willing that no man should perish, uh, but that all men should come to repentance. Uh, today, before we go into that water, for anybody that wants to be saved, let me tell you, honey, the only thing you have to do is come and ask the Lord Jesus Christ to forgive you. There's no period between time you get saved and the time you get baptized.
See you out there tonight. We That's love to. Right. Good to see you tonight, Brother Matt. Good to see you. Thank God for the Lord. All right. All heart and minds are clear. Brother Terry, just listen to one question. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Sure. 